Would you please stand with us for our opening song?
let go of me. I can see a light. Yes, I can see a light that is coming for the heart that holds on. And there will be an end to these troubles, but until that day comes, still I will praise you. Still I will praise you. Well, good morning. Good morning and welcome to Dassel Covenant Church. It's great to worship the Lord Jesus Christ. We do have some announcements that I want to give you at this time. First of all, if you are new with us, thank you for choosing to worship with us. You are our guest, and we just want to have you fill out a card in front of you and drop that in the offering plate, and you are under no obligation to give at that time. Also, uh, I just want to make this announcement because there was some confusion this morning. We do have Sunday school and confirmation next week, so hope to see many of you there. Um, also, we're gearing up for the Christmas Advent season, so Thanksgiving Eve service is this Wednesday at 7 o'clock. It will be a shorter service, and then we have pie, lots and lots of pie, so I'm looking forward to that. And then on Saturday, if you're not going to the game, we have Deck the Church, and we want to get the church ready for the Advent season. And then the Christmas program, which is going to be December 15th at 4 p.m., with a meal to follow. I want you to make note of that. Also, this morning, during the message, at the beginning of the message, I'm going to be asking people if they can share some of their concerns. So there's a pre-message question in the notes. And so what are the things that concern you today, either personally or culturally, because it pertains to the message. And so the more of you that have something to share, the better. Okay? You can help me out that way. Uh, but we are here to worship Jesus Christ. And so we're going to continue to worship him by singing some of the hymns that are in the bulletin. Uh, not in the bulletin, but in the hymnal. Thine is the glory, and when we all get to heaven, and if you're able, please stand and worship with us. <coughs>
good morning. You may be seated. As we go into a time of giving, may we be challenged not just to give, but to receive and to give our lives and not just our money. In 1 John 3, 1, it says this, See what great love the Father has lavished on us, that we should be called children of God. And that is what we are. The reason the world does not know us is that it did not know him. Let us pray. Holy Father, we thank you. We thank you once again. You gave us, while we were yet sinners, exactly what we needed, your Son, Jesus Christ, so that we could be forgiven, so that we could have hope. Lord, we give back, asking that you would multiply immensely the gifts that we give. We pray in Christ's name. Amen. is built on your faithfulness. My hope is held in your promises. I take each step with your confidence, because I am yours. I am yours. just want you to know that children three years of age and second grade are welcome to go to Children's Church in the library at this time. We are, as a church, very committed to prayer, and we have quite a few things that we want to 
celebrate and some things that we want to pray for. First of all, we want to pray for Covenant World Relief. And then I received a special uh, note from Carol uh, about Philip McGaw. She received a letter of all of the recipients that uh, Philip had don don donated some of his organs to. And she just wanted us to recognize and praise the Lord for that. 11-year-old had received a skin graft. And at this point, 21 recipients uh, so far. And so we praise the Lord for that. And thank you. Again, a reminder, if you have a prayer request, you can hand them in on card also. But Charlotte Wilkins is recovering. Uh, Jim and Yvonne Morehouse, uh, Jim was in the hospital, and I believe they're moving to Lakeside. Mary Lukama is in the hospital. She had a stroke. And then Corinne Hulquist is now at Lakeside. Uh, a daughter of Mary and Dan, uh, they asked if we would pray for Sarah Helseth. She was diagnosed with breast cancer, and she will be starting treatment. And then uh, we want to continue to pray for the D.C. football team. It's a little bias on my part, but uh, <laughs> I like football, and I like the D.C. football team. So, uh, Carl. Now, I want to just thank all the prayer warriors of this church for the prayers for Charlotte. Uh, she is down at Lakeside now uh, getting physical therapy, and uh, uh, she's, they say, two to three weeks, but it all depends on her, as I told her. Uh, and uh, she's still got pain in the knee uh, and needs to get that range of motion, but the, the prayers have been tremendous. And like Pastor says, I mean, it's almost like we have an annex down at Lakeview. I go walking through the halls and I either see patients from here or I see visitors from here or loved ones from here. So, folks, you have a great mission right there in that, that nursing facility, uh, and the town needs to be proud of that. Other joys, other concerns. My hand. It's your brother. It's his oh. fault. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, our friend Sue that we pay, prayed for a couple weeks ago, she broke her leg. She's living in North Dakota now. She's now out of the nursing home, so God's healing her, and... Uh, but she still needs our prayer. She's sounds like she's kind of confined to home based on her insurance. So I think she's not real happy about that. But in your friend's name, uh, Sue. Sue. Sorry, I didn't remember. Yeah. So there's another one. Prayer request. Hi, my name's Maddie. I have a prayer request for my husband John. He's getting surgery on Wednesday um, for a hernia. It's his first surgery, so a little nervous about it, and um, he can't lift 10 pounds for like three weeks and we have a two-year-old at home so it might be a little challenging <laughs> you'll be able to eat turkey though i'm sure <laughs> other joys other concerns well let's go into a time of prayer i thought maybe you just wanted to <laughs> i'm sure your brother will turn the mic off. Let's go into a time of prayer. Holy Father, we thank you and praise you. We thank you that you are at work in our midst. We thank you for healing. We thank you that Sue is healing from her fall, and we pray that she would heal and recover and be back to her normal activity soon. And Lord, we pray for, along with Carol and Ken, who are still grieving the loss of Philip. Uh, we Thank you that his donations have helped so many people. This 11-year-old boy with skin grafts and these 21 other recipients, we do pray for their healing and recovery. And Lord, we thank you and praise you that Brody Schmidt has left to go to East Asia, and he has started his uh, vision trip with crew there. We pray a blessing upon him. And Lord, we thank you for Covenant World Relief and the ministry that goes to reach his reach around the world to people that are in great need. And we pray that that would be the case. And Lord, we do pray for many people who are uh, hurting and recovering. And we pray for Charlotte with her knee surgery, for healing. 
and we pray for pain management for Jim and Yvonne Morehouse, for Jim as he continues to recover and heal, for Mary Lukama as she had a stroke, that you would be with her and bring healing to her, for Corinne Hallquist as she settles in at Lakeside, that you would bring comfort to her and thank you that she has a great roommate in Velma. And Lord, we pray for Sarah Helseth as she is now going under treatment for breast cancer. We pray for healing. We pray for all people uh, who are dealing with cancer, that you'd bring healing and comfort to them, Lord. We pray for John as he has hernia surgery, Lord. We pray for successful surgery. There would be no complications and that he'd be back to his normal activities soon. And Lord, we do lift up our school's football team. We pray for them to play their absolute best and that in the midst of it all that this community can come more together. And Lord, we thank you for answered prayers as we pray the prayer that you taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. All right. Good morning, church. Good morning. Scripture this morning is found in Psalm 91. That's on page 930 in your pew Bibles. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God, in whom I trust. Surely He will save you from the fowler's snare and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with His feathers, and under His wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness will be your shield and rampart. You will not fear the terror of night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that stalks in the darkness, nor the plague that destroys at midday. A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not come near you. You will only observe with your eyes and see the punishment of the wicked. If you make the Most High your dwelling, even the Lord who is my refuge, then no harm will befall you. No disaster will come near your tent. For he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. They will lift you up with their hands so that you will not strike your foot against a stone. You will tread upon the lion and the cobra. You will trample the great lion and the serpent. Because he loves me, says the Lord, I will rescue him. I will protect him, for he acknowledges my name. He will call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my compassion. This is the reading from God's word. Well, as I said earlier, I have an, a pre-message question, and I want to know some of the answers, maybe even personally or uh, culturally, of your concerns. But before I go there, I know somebody is concerned that they don't have their car keys. And so it has Pikachu on it. It's, it's, it's a Ferrari. Yeah, why, man, boy, the hands went up there. So, but uh, if you're concerned and you don't have your car keys, I have them. But are there other concerns that you're bringing here this morning uh, that we haven't shared yet during prayer time? Maybe it's overall concerns for the direction of the world or whatever. Now, it's going to really be bad if you don't share. So... You know, I'm not the shy one, so I'll, I'll, I'll talk. 
No, my concern just are the, the, the discord that we have in our country, and whether that be politically or whether it just be among the uh, citizens of our country. I mean, it's just constant discord, and it gets pounded against us by the media. You know, personally, I've just reached the point, I just turn the TV off because I don't want to listen to the news. I do know that you watch, uh, what's that game show? Wheel of Fortune. Wheel of Fortune, yeah. <laughs> Uh, I have a real sadness that people are still judged by the color of their skin. Racism, yes. Other concerns, other things that just kind of are in your mind. I'll let Brian go, and then we'll get it to you, Marcella. I guess uh, salvation of uh, friends that are unbelievers. Yes. Our complacency, specifically God's people. 